Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your oracle card. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio. Interesting, you've got the same card as Cancer. We have Raccoon, resourcefulness. You have all the resources that you need. It always feels very much like magician energy. These are cards by Stephen Farmer. Um, but you have all the resources that you need here, Scorpio. Everything is at your disposal, whether you're aware of it or not. Okay. I mean, there's definitely an energy of having faith in yourself, your own abilities here. If you're doubting that. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. Message for Scorpio. Yeah, you see, yeah, the cards are really in sync. We have self-fulfilling prophecy. Take small snip. I'll say that again. <laughs> Take small steps to diminish your worrying. Know it is going to be okay. And so it is. This is knowing your own capability to transform some kind of situation because, you know, we're made up of energy. The universe responds to energy. If you put negative energy out, you want to get that back. Law of attraction. But if you allow yourself to really try and focus as much as possible on positive energy, however difficult things are, that is how the universe reciprocates. You know, it's, it's law of attraction. So... Yeah, there's a great resource for us about you this week. I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your future outcome. Then we go deeper into the message by clarifying the cards. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Scorpio. Okay, I'm using Hanson Roberts and Morgan Greer. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Message for Scorpio. Okay, two cards there, three cards even. So I have the Hierophant, Nine of Cups, nice Scorpio. And we have the Sun. Wow, but they're in the challenge position. Okay. Five of Pentacles is advice from Spirit. And the Six of Swords. So let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Scorpio, please. Angel Spirit's Guides. Message for Scorpio. Message for Scorpio, thank you. Yeah, I've got the devil. I kind of felt that energy. Um, but I like it in the challenge position. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles here with the Knight of Swords. And we have <laughs> the Ace of Swords with the Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Cups. Yeah. Okay, Scorpio. So your challenge position, I mean, I've got the devil here. We can have our own demons, our own limiting behaviors sometime you know feeling trapped powerless this is a card of instability as well in the challenge position i did say that the devil is this is about releasing from things that have kept us trapped releasing from things that make us feel powerless releasing from shadow thoughts energy 
feelings you know it's a neg it can be a negative energy the devil i mean it can talk about relationships in whatever context work home family whichever this is for you um can talk about unhealthy relationships power struggles manipulation i mean there's levels to this card codependency addiction um but essentially the devil is it can be our own shadow self you know can be something or someone in our external environment but it can also be our own shadow energy that we're dealing with as well so for some of you, it feels like whatever this is, there's been some instability that's, that, that you've been dealing with here. Something that's made you feel unstable. And it's major arcana, so it's significant. The message is you have all the resources that you need. And know that, you know, if we allow our own demons to rule the illusion of feeling powerlessness, that we become that self-fulfilling prophecy. When for some of you, you are being told, have faith. If you're searching for meaning, this is the Hierophant. Sometimes we, the Hierophant appears when we are dealing with this kind of energy, when we're kind of saying, what is it all about? Why am I here? Why is it happening to me? You know, it's those kind of questions that we ask the universe, God, the divine, spiritual guides and so on. Um, and it is, have faith, you are absolutely being watched over, guided. Remember, the Hierophant is a card of Taurus, stability and security, is, is, is something that is stabilizing you, your own spiritual energy, uh, helping you through a difficult time, maybe having bringing some stability in an unstable situation. So there's definitely an energy of whatever this is for you, have faith, you're being guided, watched over, because you are, the sun is pure divine energy as well. You know, you will come through the other side of this. There is celebration, joy, happiness. And the Nine of Cups is reasons to be thankful, celebratory energy. Again, it is also a wish fulfillment, you know, but it's a card of, let's, let, you know, the, the Nine of Cups is essentially a card of aligning to where you need to be, to where the universe is guiding you and giving you greater happiness and fulfillment and achievement in your life. So I definitely get this energy of have faith. Don't let the demons rule in whatever context. Don't let the demons dominate because this is you stepping into your power as well, stepping into your light, the light overcoming the dark shadow energy and coming through the other side of a situation in your power. The sun is a card of success as well. Um, abundance, growth, vitality, feeling good. So if something is getting you down here, Scorpio, there is a message of have faith in yourself for those of you who have spiritual faith or talk to a spiritual mentor even, you know, this is somebody who is guiding you through the other side of a situation. It feels, you know, the five of pentacles is a card of, it can be a card of financial changes in your financial situation for the negative so it can be to do with job losses it can be to do with changes in terms of your money career status um you know it could be to do with the pandemic for some of you the five of pentacles is when we feel lack and this is the self-fulfilling prophecy um these two people are out in the cold and they don't see the church you know, the window of the universe watching over them in their darkest times because they're so wrapped up in the negativity. They can't see past it. They can't get perspective. So there is definite energy here of needing to get perspective to see the way forward here. Because for some of you, I definitely get with this Knight of Swords, there is some progress coming to a situation. There is some progress. Uh, now, this could be in the form of news, information coming your way. Um, but it feels for some of you, Scorpio, I mean, this is also an unstable energy. And it can be a card of begrudging other people. Um, you know, why are they okay and I'm not, you know? So I definitely get in this energy here, Scorpio, that this is a card of progress there is progress with swift progress could be with news information coming your way um or you may be getting clarity or perspective on your situation 
and understanding how to take swift progress in a situation. So it definitely feels for some of you this clarifying energy is needed, this clarity is needed um, on this Five of Pentacles on how you move forward and bring progress, bring positive change to your situation. Because we have the Six of Swords and we have the Ace of Swords, the breakthrough, the victory, the triumph, um, and you're heading for it. You're heading for it. There's going to be swift progress here. The Six of Swords. Now, there could be some communication coming your way. I have communication energies in these cards. And there could be some news, communication, conversations happening here. And it could enable you to detach from troubles and move towards happier times, calmer times, new vision energies new world energies, the new beginning energies. So I definitely feel for some of you, the Six of Swords is where things are getting better, where you can try and put something that may have caused you stress, anxiety, worry. You're finally beginning to put it behind you and you're finally feeling progress, that you're moving in the right direction towards success. And that's what the cards are saying because this is a card of victory, success, breakthroughs. Um, and it might well be that there are some clarifying moments in steps you need to take using your resources. Uh, and again, maybe some communication conversations going on here that are bringing this shift this week. The, the message is you're not quite there yet, but you're absolutely going in the right, right direction and you're putting a difficult period behind you. So you're absolutely on the right path, going in the right direction towards a triumph a victory and you're putting the past behind you the worst thing the five of cups says that you can do is focus on what's gone focus on the negative because there's too much positivity to focus on um, now that is going to bring you hope and fulfillment and happiness and that's where your energy needs to be placed not on what's gone but on what's to come. So, you know, the Five of Cups can be about loss, it can be about regrets, it can be about feeling really down. But there are some clarifying cards here and communication energies here, Scorpio, which I feel for some of you are allowing you to just move in towards the right direction, towards triumph this week. It feels very beautiful and that crown is your crown of power and that's what that sun is telling you you're being guided the universe is shedding light over the dark energy and it feels light at the end of the tunnel energy here when the sun when the sun card appears there's generally a sign that everything's going to be okay you will come through the other side of this this is about being in your power and don't lose sight of your hopes, dreams and wishes. Again, Aquarian energy, dream, you know, vision energy. Don't lose sight of the goal because for some of you that is coming, the triumph. Yeah, it's very beautiful energy. And you have everything that you need, everything that you need, whether you're aware of it or not. And sometimes in that devil energy, in that five of pentacles energy, we lose sight of our own capability, of our own power. And that's what the universe is reminding you of in this reading. Remember your own power to bring victory. That crown. Yeah. And remember, this is the warrior sword. So I'm going to pull a final card for you. Final message. Yeah, I love the inspiration. Um, because it's almost kind of like that revitalizing energy, you know. Um, be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the Fairy of Inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. Yeah, I feel that there is new energy, vitality coming your way. This is being aware of what you're really capable of and that you will bring a victory to your situation here. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.